Jean-Michel Basquiat, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vegara, illustrated by Luciano Lozano. Jean-Michel was a talented boy from Brooklyn whose mother was Puerto Rican and father was Haitian. He was only four when he started drawing, eager to show the world what a great artist he could be. For Jean-Michel, a perfect Saturday was going to Manhattan with his mother to visit its wonderful museums. Back home, he spent all afternoon drawing cartoons on scrap paper while listening to music with his father. One day, when he was seven, Jean-Michel was hit by a car while playing in the street. He had to rest in bed for weeks. To help pass the time, his mother gave him the most useful present he could have received, an anatomy book. Skulls, teeth, guts, skin, skeletons. The book was simply fascinating. Going through its pages, Jean-Michel realized how powerful and fragile the human body is. He decided to use all he had learned in his paintings. Things turned upside down when his mother got ill. Jean-Michel dropped out of school and ran away from home. Luckily, he found his place at Sidious School, an unconventional setting where he met other artists like him. Not long afterwards, the city of New York woke up with messages spray painted on buildings all over Manhattan. They were signed with a name that Jean-Michel and his friend Ad Diaz had made up, Samo. It was the beginning of the graffiti era and Jean-Michel was at the center of it. In the blink of an eye, he went from selling t-shirts and homemade postcards to becoming the new star of the art scene. Locked up in his studio, Jean-Michel spent hours on the floor mixing pencil, oil sticks, and crayons with cut up quotes he found in comics and history books. The result was a beautiful mess of paintings that people fell in love with. Jean-Michel believed that everyone deserves a place in art. Instead of painting kings and queens, like many other artists, he turned his paintbrush to waiters, cooks, prisoners, and himself. If there was someone he wanted to meet, it was the famous Andy Warhol, one of his idols. After their first lunch, Jean-Michel went home, and within two hours, he sent Andy a wet painting of the two of them. It was the beginning of a great friendship. Jean-Michel and Andy spent lots of time together, working, painting, and going to parties. They were the brand new painter and pop art legend, the craziest pair on the scene. In less than 10 years, Jean-Michel made thousands of paintings and drawings, but he was also a poet, a musician, and a graffiti prodigy who influenced the work of many artists that came after him. And by painting life in his own unique way, Jean-Michel became one of the most important artists of the 20th century. The talented child who once told his father, Papa, I'm going to be famous. The End Pause the video to read more about Jean-Michel Basquiat.